Oh, I'm Dad. I'm Darren McNeese. This is our four-year-old daughter, Arabella, our nearly two-year-old son, George, and my wife, Sarah. I'll say active kid. He's, um, he's a happy boy. Let's hope he doesn't follow in the footsteps of Dad. Let's hope, he, let's hope he's a little bit better than him. Last Easter, George was uh, diagnosed with a, a brain tumour. It's called it's an ependymoma, which is quite, quite rare um, and quite aggressive. Straight after his MRI, he, they, they rushed him straight to surgery, uh, where they removed a, a tumour uh, roughly about the size of a golf ball. Following that, we, uh, we relocated over to, to the Royal Children's here in Melbourne, um, where George underwent um, six rounds of chemotherapy that lasted eight months. After those six rounds of chemotherapy, he had uh, six weeks of, of radiation. He had an MRI today, and thankfully, um, it's, it's shown that there's no observable cancer cells there at the moment, so a good day for us. Just before we started the chemotherapy, um, our oncology team told us that they would have to push George's life right to the brink to save him. And I guess I didn't really understand that until it actually started in front of my eyes. He's just been an amazing little fighter. George was unable to you know, speak, walk, talk, communicate. He's been given the most highest amount of pain relief that you could possibly give a child of his age. Um, unfortunately, we did spend a time in ICU um, where we didn't know what the outcome was going to be. That's how much chemo, what chemo can do to a little boy's body. The Royal Children's here in Melbourne has been absolutely amazing. It's just a world-class facility, an organisation that you, you can't even put into words what the things they can do here for, your, for, your, for any child. You know, you don't wait for anything. If they want you to have a scan or a blood test or an x-ray or see a different sort of specialist, it happens there and then. He's going to need to have a speech therapy. He's going to need to learn how to eat, um, which would be a bit of a challenge um, because he had so many months where he wasn't um, eating at all. He's going to have to have physiotherapy because um, some of the chemotherapy drugs have actually turned his feet out to be the wrong way, weaken his bones. Um, occupational therapy, so it's just, just a big challenge ahead. And then we'll be back here in three months time again to have another MRI scan. As um, Darren said, George's type of brain cancer is a very aggressive type, so it can grow back really fast. Couldn't speak highly of um, what uh, both Cricket Tasmania and what the ACA, um, straight away, I, I didn't even have to approach anyone. They, they approached me from, from the day, I guess it was known to, to the public. Uh, what, what had happened to George, uh, there was outstanding offers of support and help, um, whatever we needed. Yep. So there was two things that occurred, there was the, they, they did do a little, a little fundraiser for us uh, and that uh, raised some much needed funds for us to, to be able to relocate and be together as a family. And there was a really, a really nice gesture um, halfway through his treatment where they, they'd done a, an annual leave drive where, where staff was able to donate a day or two of their annual leave. So they managed to, yeah, to raise another six weeks annual leave for me. The ACA offered to pay our, our mortgage while we are in Melbourne. Um, so that would tell it up to be $10,000 over, over a six month period, which was just a, a real relief for us that we'd, financially we were, we were going to be okay, we're going to be able to keep our house and not, and not, have, to, not have to remortgage it or, or sell it. <laughs> On behalf of the, the McNeese family, uh, we'd, we'd like to thank uh, the ACA and, and, and the players and its members for, um, as part of the, the Player Hardship Fund um, to offer the support that we've received that, that's, that's enabled us to, to get through uh, George's treatment as, as comfortable as we can. We'd, we'd also like to thank the Deutsche Bank for providing the funds to the ACA Player Hardship Fund.